What's up guys, Ibra here with Hurricane X, and gaming headsets have always been an interesting point for debate. Uh, in many cases, the word gaming is simply attached to a product uh, to make it sound more appealing to gamers. A good example of this would be when you take a certain product, or especially in the headset space, um, where low quality sound is usually combined with a terrible microphone uh, to create a product that's somehow supposed to appeal to gamers. The number of crappy headsets we've come across is incredible. This is where the Cloud Revolver S from HyperX comes into things. Uh, this is the flagship headset in HyperX's lineup. Bo Dimitri and I have reviewed a number of HyperX Cloud headsets, and I've linked some of those down below. Uh, this one is a little different because of the S in its name, which stands for, um, you guessed it, surround. Basically, this headset shares the same design and drivers found on the original revolver, but it comes with a plug-and-play Dolby Surround 7.1 module and a few changes which we'll talk about shortly. Price-wise, you're looking at a $40 premium over the original revolver, so it's priced similarly to the Logitech G533 wireless gaming headset that we looked at recently. So is it worth spending $150 on the Revolver S? Let's find out! Now, from a design perspective, the S model looks like the original Revolver headset, but if you pay close attention to the fine details, they've eliminated the plastic and glossy finish on the ear cups and replaced it with a soft-touch rubberized material. It certainly adds a layer of premium quality, but I'm worried about it wearing off over time, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You'll also notice that HyperX have replaced the red accents with white, and this includes the headband stitching. The headband also happens to remain the same from the original Revolver, so why mess with a good thing, right? Back when he reviewed the original Revolver, Dimitri pointed out that the metal frame absorbed sound, which was the most annoying factor of an otherwise comfortable pair of headphones. HyperX addressed that issue by adding these rubber inserts at the corner, which are supposed to reduce vibrations, but unfortunately, they didn't do the trick either, and I still got some reverberations through the headset. This shouldn't happen, but it isn't unique to the Cloud series either, since many headsets with this type of metal frame design and a self-adjusting headband exhibit reverb from their cords through the metal band into the ear cups. On a positive note, the overall clamping force is minimal but still secure thanks to a wider headband. HyperX is also well known for the signature memory foam found on your ear pads. So if we're talking comfort, this thing gets a solid 10 out of 10 from my perspective. Just make sure to vent your ears occasionally since their closed back nature of these ear cups can cause a buildup of sweat. Out of the box, you get a few accessories like a 2 meter splitter cable, the detachable boom microphone, and a 2 meter USB cable with the plug and play surround module, which is the main selling point for the Revolver S. The microphone is detachable and it plugs into the headset via a 3.5mm connector. It's also fairly easy to maneuver around, although it cannot retract like the one found on the Logitech's G533 headset. Either way, it's there if you need it, or if you don't, you can just unplug it and store it safely. Just don't lose it. The microphone, which you can hear me on now, features noise cancelling characteristics, and as you can hear, it does a really good job isolating background noise, plus it sounds a lot better than the G533 headset. In fact, I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard featuring Cherry Mix Blue switches, which do exhibit quite a bit of noise, um, and uh, the noise cancelling technology almost removes the crackling. Um, my voice sounds natural and boomy without it being nasally, so that's awesome. The cable coming out of the headset is approximately a meter long, plus it's reasonably thick, braided, and flexible, which is awesome. It's also pretty short, especially if you plan to route it behind your PC, but this was primarily done to provide cross-compatibility with Xbox One, PS4, Mac, mobile devices, and even VR headsets. The shorter cable will definitely help with cable management in those situations, and if you do plan to route it behind your system, the provided extension cables are more than long enough to do the job. And now let's talk about the main selling point of the Revolver S Gaming headset, which is this plug-and-play USB dongle that features a high-quality sound processor, which also happens to process the Dolby Digital Surround sound. It's pretty straightforward. You plug in the headset to the unit, and this gives you access to volume adjust for both the headphone and microphone. There's also an equalizer button that cycles through three different presets, starting with bass boost, then flat, and finally vocals. You can easily monitor that through the three individually lit LEDs. Last but not least, you'll find the microphone mute button and the star of the show, the Dolby Digital 7.1, which turns red when enabled. The same goes for the microphone. So when you enable this feature, the USB dongle uses the integrated DSP to manipulate the stereo drivers on the headset to mimic a surround sound environment. And let me tell you, it is an immersive experience while gaming. I've tried the virtual surround sound feature on the G533, and it had a similar experience as the Revolver S, especially if you take advantage of games that have compatible sound engines. 
Playing Battlefield 1, which is still one of my favorite FPS titles, sounded amazing. You get a good sense of positional awareness, the footsteps felt closer while gunshots were boomy and powerful due to the headset's excellent bass response. One major advantage of having proper virtual surround sound is the ability to track and lock your target no matter which direction they're coming in from, and the Revolver S delivers a fantastic experience while gaming. When you switch back to stereo mode, it almost feels incomplete and it loses the purpose of purchasing the headset in the first place because it was designed for virtual 7.1 surround audio. Now, the only time I turned off this feature was when listening to music. I like my tunes to be imaged by two channels, and surprisingly, the Revolver S does not disappoint here either. Higher frequencies were clear and well-defined without any distortions. The lower ends were powerful, but if you prefer to tone that down, the three hardware presets on the dongle mentioned above could come in handy. So what can we take away from the HyperX Cloud Revolver S gaming headset? For $150, you really have to think twice before pulling the trigger because uh, first of all, you need to appreciate virtual surround sound and use the feature on a regular basis. Uh, the HyperX Cloud 2 with 7.1 surround sound runs for about $100, and like Dimitri mentioned in his original HyperX Revolver headset review, I find that there is better value with the original HyperX Cloud headsets simply because they're designed well and you don't get the annoying metal frame on top of the headband. I really dislike this feature. Really, the only reason why one would choose the Revolver S over the regular headset would be for the slightly wider frame uh, that would fit larger heads. And at this price point, you're entering the wireless realm. So it's between this or the G533, which also delivers a fantastic virtual surround sound experience, uh, but with the convenience of being wireless. Which one would I pick? Well, neither, because personally, I prefer a stereo experience to something like a virtual 7.1 surround stage. Uh, but make no mistake about it, the Revolver S can deliver an excellent stereo experience if necessary, but you aren't paying such a high price for something like a $75 to $100 headset can provide. The Sennheiser GSP-300 and the HyperX Stinger can all be found for less, and while they don't feature the fancy surround sound setting, they are priced well and they sound awesome. So what do you guys think of the HyperX Revolver S gaming headset? Would you spend $150 on this, or are there any less expensive alternatives that you might be interested in? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Ibra with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.